pipe itself. All right, progress update on the conversion of a Heathkit IO10 oscilloscope into a push-pull guitar amplifier. I'm ready for the initial testing, but I wanted to show you the layout where I'm at. Here are the output tubes, a pair of 6AQ5s. Inverter is a 6AV6 preamp 12AX7. Got the controls all wired up. This is my filter capacitor assembly and the AC power input. Flip it around. And on this side we have a Hammond 125H output transformer going to my speaker outputs on the rear. There's one for 8 and one for 4 ohms. Alright, let me flip this thing upside down and show you bottom side. Bottom side view of the amplifier. This is my power transformer and it actually mounted in the same position as the original one did for the oscilloscope. Here is the D-Lab ECB AB driver board and I was able to reuse four of the original tube sockets in the amplifier. Alright, let's go over the front panel really quick. The AC switch will be utilized, but at this time I don't have it connected. I'm also going to illuminate the screen. Focus control is going to do nothing. The green knob is volume. And we have treble. And we have bass. And I have an indicator lamp here. These are my inputs. Input 1, input 2. Banana jacks do nothing but maintain the look of the original scope. All right. Let's put a signal in this thing and see what it sounds like. All right, it's test time of the IO10 Retrofit Guitar Amplifier. My test setup is a Haffler preamp. The source is a JVC CD player. And we're running a pair of Celestion 12-inch speakers off the 8-ohm output of the amplifier. And we are going to be injecting music from a CD. Since I have a preamp, I can throttle it back to where it sounds pretty good. Here we go. So here's the volume on the amp itself. There's trouble. Bass.
And there you have it guys, a demo of the IO-10 oscilloscope now as a guitar amp. And the beauty is, this thing was based off of the D-Lab ECB AB board. The schematic is identical to the other amps that I have built. The only thing that is different is just the arrangement of the tubes and the boards in this application.